You know, when you've done your job right and you just thought bloody everything's going good. Anyway, we drilled this land at Latham the other day with moors, like you say, uh, like you saw with spring up. And uh, oh, it looked a picture. Starting to germinate, which is a bonus in its favour. And uh, my dad came down last night. Look, it's all germinating where it's dry. So that gives it a fighting chance, but there was an absolute cloud burst last night, you know, a mega storm. And uh, Dad came last night about seven o'clock, give us a rung, ring, and he says, uh, just go down to Latham and have a look because it's uh, like just a, a lake. And uh, some of it's soaked away, but Christ, there's been some rain here. What a mess. Well, uh, I don't know what, whether we can do out. I mean, there's a massive pool of water here. We'll maybe dig a little trench. Well, there is a trench. And it is trickling, but me and Phil will come back later on and dig a, try and dig a bit of that slap hole off. But there's water all over. I think it'll take it, and I think the growth stage where it has germinated, <clears throat> if it hadn't germinated, it would just blow up and pop. You know, it would just take that much water on and pop, and the germination would be killed. But it's already germinated, so it's got a fighting chance to sort of get away. But yeah, bloody disaster. I don't know whether you can hear that, but that deer's making a right din. Whether it's some kind of mating call, but they'll be having their, uh, their fawns soon, won't they? Because it's June, innit? Because I know when we're mowing these grasses, in fact, I'd like to be on, but weather won't let us. It's too, just too wet underfoot, but there's a massive amount of grass to get an early cut off. So, you know, it gives a chance for a second cut. And the plan is to get some uh, either compost or muck on them as well to sign, try and feed them up a bit. But uh, yeah, when we're mowing these grasses, bloody hell, the number of fawns we've bloody chopped up. Um, coming to this one, these other two fields down here, these have been direct drilled, like I said, five year on trough. Tell you what, it's wet, but it's bloody handled it a whole lot better than, uh, than the other fields, what are one year direct, well, two years direct drill that one. And, uh, and the other, which is, um, which is just sort of normally, normal cultivation. Yeah, it seems to have soaked into this. And I mean, oats are coming out good and they're just starting to germinate, but, you know. But... Yeah, bad, there must have been some bloody rain here. You know when jobs pear-shaped, went bloody fields covered in ducks and geese. You know, you know it's wet then, don't you? What a disaster. This is a, just a normal cultivation, simbered, simbered at back end and power a combi, look at the state of it. You know, actually that soaked it up quite well. Bloody disaster in there though, our roundup pump. I nearly came and bloody roundup did it again and I should have done because it's just bloody reared, it, reared its head as that horrible black grass. But yeah, what? Fucking hell. <laughs> That's all I can say. Fucking hell. Yeah, that job was looking promising. It's a right bloody disaster. I'm sat in office, so I could hear a lot of shouting and going on in the yard, so I don't know what they're falling out of. Watch that mower. Why do you stay this way? Then you miss the mower. I'd round all, you'll be all right. He'll be right, he'll fall. Yeah, you're all right.
just we just picked this mower up and it's rough as in it weathered being outside but it runs like a clock it really does it's really shocked us the bed it, and the condition is in perfect working order all gearboxes are uh, we've checked oils and that everything's in order there and uh, yeah i've just offered it to a polymer and might be a, a little bit in it for us yeah, it's better than we thought And then there's another one there. That's a Lely Splendid Mode, 2004. And then there's a Vicon, 2.4 meter there. That's a real nice mower and all. So it's that time of year where people are thinking of cutting their grass, aren't they? So if you want a cheap mower, give us a shout. But I think these two are off into the trail. Morning. Come out fairly early. Uh, Chris is parked up. He loaded that Bailey last Bailey last night. Uh, Mara, look at that new Holland Bailey. Mara, I think it was for now, to be honest. Anyway, that mower's yoked on there. We saw that yesterday. Um, that's off to uh, only local to Doncaster. Fellow wanting 40 or 50 acre a year cut. And uh, now I'm out early because uh, this cow here. This cow, this, these two are left to calf, and uh, she's sort of starting to bag up. Show a little bit of sign of, of a bit of bag, so I just wanted to come out and check her. But, I mean, it's, it's five o'clock, I'm gonna start work. I've got some workshop stuff to do, and all sorts of stuff to do. There's some pigs going today, so get them ready first thing. Get them sorted out, and uh, yeah, there's never a dull moment, really. Just some parts to, part, uh, sort out for a fella he's drilling his maze and blowing his six meter coon uh, six meter mashio power out of it so we put some parts on next day for him next day delivery so I'll keep him out this is one of, oh god jumpy this is one of the ones with uh, that well, whether it was forest eye, pink eye, whatever you want to call it. Um, and we put, well, the method was the usual eye ointment, OptiClox or whatever it's called. And we gave them 15 mil of pen strip in, uh, into, in their muscle in their rump. And someone, to, well, the vet says uh, put two mil injected up here in their eye. Well, not in their eye, but in their uh, in their eye, eye sort of above their eye anyway. Yeah, I tell you what, it's cleared them up fantastic. Yeah, in uh, what has it been? Five days, yeah, totally cleared up. So yeah, it's a method I would use in the future. You know, injecting them above the eye. It's a bit daunting. You know, you need them well in crush. But yeah, I just leant against them and just tucked it above here and gave them two mil up here. So yeah, calves are doing well to see. It's pretty, well, it's mild, but very damp, damp weather. They're doing all right. Yeah, they're fair eating the grass up though. They're uh, uh, another three weeks. There won't be a lot of grass left. I mean, it's growing like mad with the season we're having, but. Uh, they're really taking the top off it. The idea at first was to cut it in, uh, in quarter it with electric fence and keep letting them have a bit, but we never sort of got organised. But what we have done, we've bought an applicator for our sprayer to put fine seeds on. And uh, this field next door, which is winter barley, um, the plan is to... Uh, in its standing crop, I'm going to go with this applicator, which is mounted on the sprayer, 
and spread um, uh, stubble turnips and a forage rape in it. Forage rape and uh, sort of a fortnight before we go in with combat. And hopefully when the grass is exhausted here in October, late October, they'll get two months uh, or six weeks grazing on there. And what we're going to do, we're going to down this bank down this back side is real high sand and we're going to dot maybe uh, 20 bales of silage so we keep moving the uh, moving the electric fence uh, closer to home and then whether we're brave enough to walk them up to the farm I don't know depending how they follow the bag at that time of year but yeah they'll soon have this I mean there's there ain't enough grass to cater for all these lot. Yeah, look, look, they look well, don't they? Yeah, this is what I was talking about, this applicator thing. I don't know, you can't really see very well, but... Yeah. Not a lot of room up here, but yeah, we've just put this applicator on. We haven't quite got it rigged up yet. But what there is, there's a tank up there. Small seeds, seeds applicator it is, or a slug pellet applicator. And then uh, it's got a blower on, hydraulic blower, which uh, we've driv by, driven by our fifth spool valve on this thing, or our fourth spool valve, sorry. And then it blows, which pipes out, we haven't put pipes on yet, but blows down pipes to uh, to them little cyclones onto uh, spinners and there's one here and the idea is to put small seeds either in a standing crop or uh, in a freshly worked stubble as in forage rape stubble turnips um, that type of thing for a bit of grazing yeah, I got it at a local sale. Can't really see. They aren't clambering up on top now, but yeah, I didn't give a lot for it, and I think it'll it'll just get me going this year because I've been wanting to do it for years, like you know. But I'm going to do both. I'm going to do uh, after some winter barley. I'm going to do 20 acre of uh, of in standing crop a fortnight. I estimate a fortnight, 10 days a fortnight before I harvest it. And then another 20 acre of just normal uh, stubble. Maybe even blast over it with a bit of a cultivator and then put it on. Um, so I just talked to a, a friend of mine about some GPS. He's got GPS on his, his Clayton buggy. And he said it's a good simple system. Uh, so I want to pop down and see him about that because desperate for some GPS on this for next year. I don't want to spend a fortune on this, but we are going to rig Ollie's 650 up with uh, a decent setup. So that's the future, isn't it? Phil's been uh, putting furt on. He's got a big chunk of uh, nitrogen on some, uh, on some uh, forward wheat. And one more backward wheat once I don't know, another week maybe. Probably, well he's not here tomorrow, but after the weekend he'll get, just tick the box I think, get everything sort of, it's last application of nitrogen. We use this little John Deere tractor because it's on slightly narrower wheels, it's on 16.9s, instead of prattling about with uh, bunging narrow wheels on. Uh, but yeah, it's a good, good combination really. I think you can put four bags in, so it gets pl plenty in. And the spread is brilliant though, absolutely brilliant. I know I keep crowing on about the KRM, it's all way sealed and, com way sealed and computerized up, but it's hell of a thing. So yeah, the new and the old sort of thing, innit? But, but I've got loads of swallows this year, you know, which is marvelous to see, but I ain't heard cuckoo. My uncle has, but I ain't heard cuckoo this time. And usually, if you walk down Canal Bank early on the morning at this time of year, he's singing away, or she's singing away. And 
Is it him or her? I don't know. Who, which one cuckoos? But swallows anyway. There's loads of them. Right, if you like this channel, like and subscribe. That's how much bloody rain we've had, look. I don't know how long that's been there, but that's quite worrying, isn't it? Right, if you like this channel, tick and subscribe. Rufford Farm in East Yorkshire. Bye for now.